Hello and welcome. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, Active Directory. So, uh, as you can see here, I'm using Windows Server 2019. And the first step before doing anything in Active Directory, the server needs to have a static IP address. So let's do that. So as you can see here, in uh, 2019 we don't have server manager, okay, pinned in the uh, taskbar. So let's do that. I'm gonna actually type uh, server manager, and then let's actually uh, pin the server manager taskbar. Okay, launching server manager as you can see. Let's go to local server by clicking on local server tab as you can see. Now I have a couple of information regarding the server like the name of the computer, the work group or domain, okay, and IP addressing as well. So you could access the IP address configuration through the server manager. I mean through a couple of places and I uh, prefer to go to it through the uh, command line by typing the search bar ncp cpa pointer cpl as you can see we have two adapters one adapter is connected to the internet okay and one is a private okay connected to host only this is the private interface connecting to the Windows, this will be connected to Windows 10 client, okay? So I'm going to rename this one to private. And then this one, I'm going to give it the name of a public, okay? Public interface connected to the internet. Okay? So basically, as you can see, by going to the stats of the network, if you check that to verify that this is the public interface, as you can see, this is my public interface. I don't have a public IP address, it's not necessary, this is just for lab purposes. I could have a public IP address if I want to, but let's say 172.16.1.1.114 is the public interface connected to the internet, because I'm using a bridge, I'm using VMware, and I'm bridging the connection with the server so the private interface the private interface that we'll get actually it's um, this one as you can see I'm going into the detail and as you can see it's configured with a private IP address but this is not actually a static IP address by going to the IPv4 properties and then obtain IP automatically which means I'm using DHCP so to configure the server because the server need to have a static IP address okay so uh, let's configure the static IP address first we could give it 10.10.1. let's say for example um, one the first IP this range and Let's use 24 slash 24 for the standard mask. And then we don't need any default gateway, but we could actually uh, apply to the server as a default gateway, but we don't really need a default gateway. And the most important is the DNS. So normally DNS, we could go either with the IP address of the server, because the server would be DNS, would be DHCP, Will be Active Directory Domain Services, uh, Active Directory uh, Domain Controller, and so on. So we could do it this way by actually using the same IP, or we could point to loopback. This is exactly the same, okay? So 0 0.1, this is the loopback, and then validate settings, and then OK. I'm gonna click OK a couple of times, and close. So as you can see, status here and detail. I configure the static IP address on the uh, server. So that's the first step to do when actually installing Active, before installing Active Directory Domain Services. I'm going to also go to the computer. I can change the name of the computer, as you can see. 
this is uh, in real world scenario basically you need to change the name of the computer so I'm gonna rename it to something this is computer description this is not the name the name is right here as you can see I'm gonna name it okay uh, DC one okay right there so let's go with small lowercase letters for consistency and then okay it will ask me to restart I'm not going to restart till okay I'm gonna install the Active Directory domain services. Where's that later? Now that we have the name configured, it needs just to start to take effect and the IPv4 configured. The next step is to go to and then manage. Here on this tab, we do all install all the features and the rules. If we want to install something, it's the and then manage tab right and if we when uh, we install something we could find it under tools as you can see we don't have any active directory domain services any dns any dfcp and so on but we're going to install them from here from this tab and later on we're going to find them under tools so let's go ahead and install active directory domain services so basically, uh, rule-based or feature-based installation, remote desktop service installation, we are not using remote desktop, we are installing everything on a local server, as you can see, so it's selected by default. If we have a pool of servers, they will be listed right here, so since I have only one server, I don't have any other servers, it's only the default one. I'm gonna go and now what I need to do I need to actually check the box next to Active Directory domain services okay there are a couple of features that need to be installed uh, as long uh, as well as the um, Active Directory domain services I'm gonna install also at the same time install DHCP server okay add the feature continue and the DNS will be installed by default because it's part of the active directory. DNS plays a very, very important role in active directory because the server will be DHCP, giving IP addresses or allocating IP addresses to hosts, and the DNS will be, okay, uh, given uh, or translating host names to IPv4 addresses on the network. So um, I'm gonna click next, next, and then next, okay? I'm gonna check the box next to restart the destination server automatically if required. I'm gonna say yes, and then I'm gonna click install. This basically will take a couple of uh, minutes to, uh, to install, so I'm gonna Pause the video right here, okay? And I will come back when the installation is done.